Good morning guys, welcome to a Sunday in my life. This is mainly just going to be my morning and I do hope you guys enjoy. I'm making my husband our go-to smoothie recipe and I'll have all of the ingredients listed on the screen for you all. This smoothie is packed with protein, antioxidants, and fiber, and then you're also getting some carbs in from the fruit. Really let me know if you're going to give this a try by commenting below, and we'll go ahead and continue on with the morning. It came out looking so good. So we are prepping it. Joshua's lunch, grass-fed ground beef, like mixed veggies, and some quinoa. And it's not focusing, but this will be his lunch for today. And I got him an apple, some almonds. He's gonna take an Alani new energy drink for his caffeine source today instead of coffee. And y'all, this can is so cute. The rainbow is so good, it literally tastes like Skittles. So if you are a sweet drink girly, I highly recommend. My oatmeal a little too milky, but that's fine. I don't know if you prefer like watery oats or really thick oats. I made my oatmeal like this yesterday and it was so good. And chia seeds, you guys. I love adding chia seeds to my smoothies, um, to my oatmeal, to my peanut butter toast. Like you don't even, you can't even tell that it's there and it's just a great way to get some extra fiber in. I'll leave the rest of the banana for Ollie, so I'm gonna go put this in his food bowl. Then a little bit later, I'll have my own protein shake. So Joshua and I both have that same shake literally daily. It's so good. Good morning friends and welcome to today's vlog so we're just spending sunday morning together um, it's march 19th and i've been up since about like 6 20 or so it was a struggle to get out of bed this morning but we did it and right now i'm sitting down for my bible study yeah i'm studying the book of james right now i just started um a couple days ago so i'm it pretty slow and just like taking my time start off with prayer and it can include a multitude of things but one of the things that I definitely try to ask for is that God opens my heart and my mind to him and helps reveal his truth through scripture like to me like helping it like seep into my heart right before I start and then I've got I started using the Bible project which is just like a video um, it's free you can download their app you can look them up on YouTube but it's a video where they break down like a specific book of the Bible um, it just like really helps break it down in an easier understandable way and then I do also have two Bible translations so I have like the new living translation I think that's NLT, that's the one, um, my brown Bible. And then I also have this NRSV note takers Bible, which I've had this for years. And it helps to see it written in two different translations. It does have some differences in terms of like wording. I'm actually gonna use a commentary today, which a commentary basically just like helps you break down the scripture even more. And it goes like verse by verse. And I'll put on the screen which one I'm gonna use. Um, one of you guys actually recommended this to me on Instagram, so excited to use that okay so if you see there i've got little bullet points and then an arrow a flower and a heart so the bullet point is i learned it from a source so like i specifically like putting that because when i come back and like read and reflect on like a bible study that i've done in the past which i have done in here i didn't necessarily do that and so 
reading back on it, I'm like, okay, I don't think I, I don't think those were my thoughts, but it's something that I learned, so that's fine. But now with like future Bible studies, I'm gonna put like, okay, I learned this from a source, and then reminders like what I feel like God is reminding me, like speaking to me in that moment. Personal reflection, if there's any specific scenarios that like pop up into my head that I feel like God is bringing to my heart, like in my mind. Um, ending it with prayer so the prayer afterwards can include a multitude of things but mainly just that like god would help me a little fact that i learned from the bible project but that james is like jesus's half brother and i'm like that is so cool just imagine like my mind can't wrap around it but that is just so cool we found our home church and I'm so grateful. We've been going there for about a month. This week makes a month. Um, it's honestly really great. I just felt so welcomed and I felt so comfortable. I really loved the pastor's message that day. Like, all leading back to the Bible like he was referencing scripture. Worshiping at church just feels so special and like just like this big old hug of you and so many believers around you just like worshiping to jesus in the same room is like i don't know so sweet and i feel like you really just feel god's presence during it but now we're gonna go ahead and jump into bible study and then i'm gonna go work out and then go to church and i'll see you guys in a bit but church was so good this morning like I was feeling so much resistance to like not wanting to go because I was going by myself for the first time. My husband is busy all day today so he wasn't able to make it. Just kind of feeling uncomfy to go alone and just praying that like God would just give me peace. Like I was saying church was so good and I felt like God was just really speaking to me through this sermon and he is just teaching me to surrender because I... I feel like I have so many ideas and plans and dreams and goals and things that I really want and like have been clinging to so hard and I think he is just like nudging and like planting seeds in my heart to surrender that like he has his plan set out for me and they are good plans for me in my life. So I was just praying that like he would help me surrender those things and like letting him know that like it's really hard because like I was saying I feel like there's certain things that I just have like a death grip on and I'm like I want these things so badly but like and, and yes like one thing that the pastor was saying that like yes God does give us the desires of our heart but we don't know if he's gonna give us like every single every single thing that we're like asking for um but I am just like yeah, so I'm just praying and I feel like God is just like pointing out the word surrender to me because he, like we have all that we need in him and that's what like the whole sermon was about today was that like he is enough and it's so hard to live in alignment with that when our hearts are constantly chasing like the next thing. I was just learning so much I feel that during today's um sermon this was the first time that like i took my notebook to this specific church and like was taking some notes but we were going through john chapter six and uh, yeah it was just again it was so good um so yeah i'm just i'm praying that god helps me surrender like all the things that i'm just holding so tightly like trying to have that trust and that faith and also knowing that like my circumstances like my faith and my circumstances are not they are not equals like my faith should be there despite my circumstances and that is something i'm also i i really feel like i'm learning um so yeah i think i shared this song with you guys already but that song nothing else by cody carnes like i literally played that song after church and was just like worshiping in my car and these things are so much easier said than done and like it is so hard to live that out we obviously aren't perfect and like we like jesus is the one who's perfect and we constantly fail but like it's not about us being perfect or doing x y and z it's like it's about us believing in him that like he is the perfect one and he is the one who gives us true life and eternal life but yeah, I am sending you guys so much love. Like, I don't know what you're walking through. And that's another thing. Like, you just never know what someone is going through 
on the other side of things and so like i'm just sending you so much love like i hope you guys are doing well my cute little tote bag that i got from the farmer's market months ago here in houston it was at the heights mercantile farmer's market and i think that's a coffee stand down there but i've got my kindle and so my plan was i was going to take myself out for like brunch because my husband and I we have a new tradition where every Sunday after church we go and get like coffee or we go out to brunch just doing something together to like continue to spend that time together it just feels really nice to kind of have our Sunday routine of um going to church and then going to do something afterwards together Ever since the first time I opened up my world I just can't seem to close my eyes and sleep I'm locked inside this day Dreaming don't need any safe First book is icebreaker by hannah grace and this book is so good i loved it. it follows our two main characters we've got nate hawkins and stassi stassi is a ice skater and then nate does um play hockey and something happens to where like they have to share a rink and there is a character in here that literally upsets me so much so stassi goes through some stuff um but these two together so cute it is a grumpy sunshine where he is the sunshine and she is a grumpy one he has like golden retriever energy and i love the found family aspect like with all of his teammates um and yeah this book was actually funny as well because there were some parts that like literally made me laugh out loud as i was reading on my kindle this book is secretly yours by tessa bailey i love tessa bailey as an author she honestly cracks me up like i watch her tiktok as well um so this one says it's a steamy rom-com about a starchy professor and the bubbly neighbor he clashes with at every turn. So, Grumpy Sunshine, I love that trope so much. Clearly, he's a grumpy one in this one. Um, and we enjoy Tessa Bailey's writing. I read It Happened One Summer, and I love that book. It was such a lighthearted read. Um, so, I'm excited to dive into this and just and have a good time unclutter your soul overcome what overwhelms you by trina mcneely and i want to live a more simple minimal life and i was so excited to pick this up because it is um faith-based as well with grace hope and humor trina fills us helps us face the mess of life in order to get out of it so open the windows turn on the lights breathe deep your inner home is about to be transformed into that place of peace you long for it all begins with creating space to grow so this just sounds so good and exactly what i need is the ruthless elimination of hurry by john mark comer back it says how to stay emotionally healthy and spiritually alive in the chaos of the modern world yeah i will list all the books down below if you're interested in checking them out I forgot to make an outro clip, but I wanted to share with you guys my brunch. It was so good, and this was my first time eating out by myself, but it was totally fine. I was just reading my Kindle and enjoying my own company, and then just kind of hung out for the rest of the day. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will catch you in the next one, and don't forget to subscribe.